All right, so we're gonna be searching for gaps and check numbers uh, to identify if items have not been uh, included, if there is our payments that have not been reported and they're not showing up. So how do we do this? Well, we're testing for completeness. Let's go ahead and use our idea software then to get started. How do we do this? We are going to look at gap det detection, but first we got to make sure that the check um, field is in fact a numeric field. How do we do that? We select the check, then we go to data, and under the data we look at um, modification and we switch the field name to check to make sure that we can see the field type. This is a numeric field type. Or I could have looked at the field statistics as well, and it would have given me the numeric under, if I clicked on the numeric field types, I could check the amount in the check. So in this case, we can do a check gap analysis. So let's go back to our analysis and make sure that we can look at the accounts payable gap detection for cha 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 chan, not for supplier numbers, but for checks. And the criteria. By the way, we know that the starting number is 7,000, 7, with one to 700, 2,000 with one based on both the statistics here, they will show here as well. And they are supposed to increment, check numbers are supposed to increment one at a time. So we will call this gap detection and we will create a result, that, a view that has that. So having having done that, and we don't have any other criteria, I mean, I'm not excluding anything else. So I'm taking a look at the entire data set. It gave me a uh, list of five different checks. So there's two gaps. And on the first gap, I'm missing check number 701805. Right on the second gap, I'm check, I'm missing check number 701997, 998. 999 and then the 702,000. All right, so I'm missing almost the four last checks. That's kind of suspicious, right? I'll tell you a story once I get to the classroom about losing a few checks from the back of my checkbook and then seeing the person cash them in the same at the same time in, in the bank that I used to bank with. All right, so this is certainly alarming. And what we need to do is analyze and request copies of those from the client. Uh, we can export these results by either creating a results PDF file. Um, and we can do that by naming this, what are we gonna name this? Uh, missing, missing checks. Uh, and that would have generated a PDF file. Or um, we could create an Excel file from here and send this to Excel, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, for purposes of this assignment, all I want you is to print screen this and just paste it on your 3i. Ready for 3J now. Let's go ahead and stop the share.